Hi there, I'm Chris and welcome to another free and quick tutorial on this YouTube channel. Uh, so in this video, we're going to have a look at a little issue that can sometimes occur in Elementor Page Builder, uh, particularly when we are taking care of responsive settings for the tablet. Now, if you've encountered this problem and if that's how you found this video, you will be quite frustrated at the moment because in Elementor, we're able to design our website, either the desktop view or the mobile first view, uh, whichever, you know, you can squabble about that. Um, but when we are finishing up our website design, it's really a good thing to go through all of the desktop and tablet and mobile devices just to check that everything looks okay on all of those devices. And so Elementor gives you the opportunity to change column widths, uh, typography size, uh, images, visibility of elements, depending on what device it's on. Now, this is a fantastic thing to be able to do uh, as you tidy up your website design or keep it in mind throughout the entire design process. But there can sometimes be an issue with the tablet rendering of the column widths. So what I mean is that we can go to the tablet view and we could decide that we're going to alter the column width so that it looks fantastic on the tablet but the column width doesn't move, it doesn't change, and we're previewing it, we're saving it. Um, and if you found this video because you're uh, stuck on that and you've got desktop looking great, mobile looking great, but the tablet, it just seems glitchy and the, the column width won't move despite whether you uh, change that in the settings, uh, then we're gonna solve that problem for you now and I'm going to show you uh, how to sort that out. Um, you'll kick yourself, <laughs> as I did. Um, so let's have a quick look at um, a website. But what can occur, unfortunately, is this. If we go to the tablet view, uh, we see that we have this column width is 40%, um, although that looks like it's more than 40%. So something there isn't matching up. And then we have this column here, and it's 60 so this is the same setup as on the desktop, but on the tablet, it's not rendering correctly. It's not showing on the screen properly. And so we can be like, oh, okay, um, maybe there's, there's some issue and we'll just, we'll just bring it down. And unfortunately, it's not making any change. Um, so in the tablet view, I can't, I can't preview the website as I need to and make changes. And then I found the solution. If on the Mac, uh, you press Command and minus you'll see that I'm zoomed out already to 80. And that's often what people do when they're working with Elementor, it's what I do. Um, while I'm working on the desktop view, I will go out to 80%, uh, just so that I have a bit of a desktop view. Otherwise I could go in, I could remove the interface there, and that's what it would look like more on a, on a laptop perhaps, or, or a full screen. Uh, so for working space, perhaps one of the downsides of Elementor is that uh, the, the website as we work on it is actually a bit squashed up, so I go to 80%. So let's look at the tablet view, and watch this. I'll zoom in to 100%. I know. It wasn't anything to do with the tablet view in Elementor having a glitch. Um, it's something to do with um, the screen resolution and how that's all reading in the browser and what Elementor is informed about what to do with it. So it's 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 being messed up by our screen browser zoom and it's not actually an Elementor glitch. So <laughs> if like me, you tend to zoom out and you've been wondering what on earth is happening with the uh, tablet view, uh, it's the screen browser zoom. Get yourself back into 100% and everything will show as it should uh, across all devices. And I'll just show you that. If we if we go here, we can, we can change around what we like and it's instantaneous, it's exactly as it should work. How amazing is Elementor? <laughs> um, just in case it does help you, uh, let's go to desktop. Uh, th th this default interface width, um, it can actually just be shrunk down. It's, it's not a huge amount. Um, but if you don't want to play with your screen zoom, you can just nudge it down a little bit. Um, but of course, you've always got that, um, just so you have that bit of preview. Okay, so I hope you found that useful. It's something that I thought was an Elementor glitch for quite a while, <clears throat> and I was really relieved to find the solution. Um, 
and also just kicked myself really that you know it's not something you'll choose to do we tend to hammer into the Elementor interface and go on forums and say there's a problem with Elementor um, but it's not that at all so hope that helps you I hope it ends some frustration and I uh, hope your tablet designs go fantastically well from now on. All right, cheers. I'll see you in another tutorial. I will just quickly say that if you're interested in learning how to build a complete website, um, I have a new Udemy course out. It's only priced at £20 and there are various promotions. I'll leave a link in the description. So if you'd like to learn how to uh, design a website from start to finish, including the design and the planning and thinking about branding, then this is a really great starter uh, course for you. It's all about how to build websites with no coding and in the course we're using Elementor. So it's a really fantastic course if I do say so myself and it's a great start for anyone looking to become a no coding web designer. So the link is in the description. Please do check it out and get in touch if you'd like any further help. Thank you very much. Bye.